Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. After years of rumors about its demise, the Kia Stinger is approaching the end of its life cycle. The tribute edition serves as the last hurrah for the sporty Grand Tourer, which the South Korean automaker says it'll be indirectly replaced by the EV6 GT. The special version can be had in a new Moonscape matte gray paint or with the existing Ascot green finish. The side mirror caps, 19-inch wheels, and Brembo brake calipers all come in black. Upon opening the doors, the Tribute Edition reveals its individually numbered sill plates and leather upholstery in terracotta brown. The same material also adorns the door cards and handles as well as the steering wheel. Some areas such as the door panels and dashboard have faux carbon fiber trim. One interesting detail reserved for this stinger is the wasp emblem embedded into the headrests. As expected, the Stinger Swansong is based on the GT model with the potent twin turbo 3. 3 liter V6 engine. There aren't any changes to the powertrain, so you get the same 368 horsepower and 376 pound feet, 510 newton meters, of torque. Kia doesn't specify whether the Tribute Edition will be rear-wheel drive only or buyers will be able to opt for AWD as well. Previewed by the sleek GT concept back in 2011, the Stinger didn't reach production until 2017. Many see it as the best car Kia has ever made and a worthy adversary for something like an Audi A5 Sportback or a BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe. It's yet another victim of the crossover, SUV craze, and with electrification taking over, a V6 Grand Tourer is sadly a niche model nowadays. The Tribute Edition signals, production of the groundbreaking model comes to an end. Only 1,000 units will ever be made for the entire world, with details about pricing and availability to be released at a later date. Thanks for watching. Credits to www.motor1.com and Spied Build LLC. Please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.